Hey guys, for today's makeup look, I did go ahead and create a classic eye with a red lip. This is a very seen holiday look, so I wanted to go ahead and create this for you guys. If you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. So to prime the face, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Primer Base and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this all over the face. And when I use this primer, I, I'm really oily. And if I use this primer, I realize that it adds hydration onto the skin, but it does not make me oily. So I really like this drugstore primer. After we've applied our primer, I do like to go in with my Tarte Maracuja Oil. I just like to add a little, a little bit of this just because Colorado tends to be a little bit on the dry side and even though I do have oily skin, I just like to put a little bit of this to give me a healthy glow. I am going to go ahead and take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's in Desert Beige and I'm going to go ahead and mix this one in with a little bit of the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I really like the combination of these two together so I'm going to go ahead and apply that and dot it onto the face. brush I'm gonna go ahead and buff this out I'm doing a simple eye I am starting with the face I usually, depending on if I'm doing a heavy eye or if I'm doing something subtle, I like to either start with the face or start with the eyes. So today we are going to go ahead and start with the face. And then to conceal today, I'm going to be taking my H Rewind um, in the shade Neutralizer. So we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of this and then we're also going to go ahead and clean up under the brow. little bit of concealer onto the eyelid I'm going to be using that as my primer before adding our shadow then going in with a wet beauty blender and I'm actually going to go ahead and spray it with my coconut rose mist just for extra just for a little bit of extra hydration onto the skin a little light but we are gonna go in and fix it so don't you worry once we apply our bronzer and do the rest of our face everything will look nice and then taking a flat concealer brush I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this just to clean up under the brow I'm gonna go ahead and use this luxury baking powder by Revolution and it looks like this It's just a translucent powder So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this in the cap with my beauty blender and apply it in the areas where we highlighted doesn't 
cause any flashback either. So if you're taking any photos, it doesn't have like a white cast on your face. And it gives you a really, really pretty highlight. contour so for my contour I'm going to be taking two contour sticks one is from wet and wild in the shade worst walnut and then I'm taking this one from Tarte which is um, a little bit on the bronzier side I like taking a little bit of this just to art to add a little bit of warmth onto the face and then I like taking this one to really contour those cheeks so we're going to go ahead and use both of spray this brush with a little bit of the coconut rose water I find that doing that makes it a lot easier for me to buff in the contour and when you're blending your contour out just make sure you're dabbing it and pressing it upwards that way we don't remove the product, but we're just blending it all in. If it gets like on this area, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up with concealer. So you can be as messy as you want because it's makeup. You can always go back and clean it up. going to go ahead and take this small angled brush we're also going to go ahead and spray that just once so that we can go ahead and blend our nose contour and make sure you bring it all the way up so that it's not just halfway and then going in with the beauty blender just go in and make sure everything it's nice and blended. My Kat Von D brush, I'm just going to go ahead and use this tapered side and remove any of that powder that was still there. Going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand, we're just going to go ahead and clean up that area. blender just blending that out and then whatever is left just go on the top of your nose for bronzer I'm going in with this Lisa Frank bronzer it's in bitten bronzed and it looks like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up in that same brush and start bronzing those areas where we applied our contour just to set that bronzer. I really like this bronzer because it's not super warm, but it's not, it looks like it could be ashy, but it's not. So I just really like it to set the contour and then taking our angled brush just dabbing that in and just going over the contour our nose contour to set that in place to start on the eyes I'm gonna go ahead in with an oldie but a goodie I'm taking my Too Faced chocolate bar and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the shade right here it's just a very light brown color 
Um, for the eye today, I'm going to keep it very simple since we're doing a, a red lip. I just want to do a nice wing with something very neutral on the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up that shade and apply it on the lid. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe 533 brush. And we're just going to buff that color into our crease. And when you pick up the product on your brush, I like to start right in the center so it deposits most of the color in that crease area instead of having like a chunk of darkness right here. So I just like to start in the center and then blend it all out. classic holiday makeup look I do want to add a little bit of shimmer not not anything too crazy but I do want to go ahead and use the revolution vivid baked highlighter this is what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the lid and on the brow bone I'm going to just go ahead and take this smashbox flat shader brush going to go ahead and take this shade right here and I'm going to go ahead and apply it right over top just to kind of add a little bit more color and that color I'm just applying it in the center of the lid So my camera did shut off in the middle of me finishing up my eyes so all I did was add a little baby wing um, with this elf liner i really love this one because it's very felt tip and it's actually very like flimsy a little bit so super easy to work with so that's what i did on the eyes with this one and then for the crease i just went in with a smaller blending brush kind of like a smaller blending brush like this and i picked up the color and just kind of deepened up that crease to make sure we blended out our eyeshadow Next for blush, I'm going to go ahead and take this Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. I really love this color because it seems very corally, so it'll go perfect with our red lip. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the apples of our cheeks. For the brows, we're going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Brow Precise. Just going to go ahead and put a little bit of this to shape the brows up a little bit. Whatever is left from that application, I like to just bring it on over to the other brow. Highlighter, I am taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Studio. This is in the only shade of Molten Gold and it looks like this. It's a very very pretty champagne shade and it'll go very very nicely with the red lips so we're just gonna go ahead and apply some of this I don't like to intensify my highlight like nothing too bright um, so this one is perfect for that and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the high points of my face to go in a C shape on this part of my face just so it kind of connects together. For the nose, I just like to take my finger and apply a little bit of that onto the tip and then a little bit on the bridge just like that. So now that we're all glowy, go in and do my lower lash line again picking up that brown color from the Too Faced palette and just applying that all on the lower lash line you already 
know the drill. So for lashes, I am not applying falsies. I am using my own. So I'm just going to go ahead and load these puppies up with mascara and I will be right back. All right, so lashes are on. I did go ahead and use this combo for my lashes. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the L'Oreal Telescopic. I went ahead and used this on the upper and lower lashes. For our lips today, we're going to go ahead and do a red lip. So for that, I'm going to be taking my Milani lip liner in number two, which is just a red color, and I'm going to lip line. And then for the lip color, I'm going to be taking this I Love Sada E in ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy, and this is going to be my color. And this is in the shade Arriba, by the way. Now that we have our lip on, we're just going to go ahead and set our face. I'm going to go in with the Coconut Rose Hydrating Spray Mist. And then to lock in our makeup, I'm going to go ahead and take in the Milani Setting Spray. Um, this is 16 hour wear and it actually does work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, you guys, this finishes up the look. I really enjoyed how it turned out. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in next time for my next video.